Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with something I don't normally do, and that is once I get a weapon to Interstellar, I seldom use it again. There are some go-to weapons I use all the time, but I got the Reclaimer to Interstellar yesterday, and I thought that I would play one game with it in Interstellar. Now, it's a fairly controversial shotgun. A lot of people say that it's not very good. I haven't heard anybody say that it's awesome. It does have good one-shot kills, though, at distance. I can give it that much. So let's take a look at the configuration real quick and then go to the Field of Honor and take this camo out for a test drive. The first thing I do is the center mass grip tape. And what I'm aiming to do here is the aim down sight speed. Because the aim down sight speed, yeah, it's okay for a shoddy, but I want to get it faster. 3% doesn't give us much. I'm not worried about the recoil so much because shoddies do have recoil. The gun kick's not bad at 21.17 degrees per second. And the horizontal recoil is not bad either. Uh, vertical recoil, yeah, it's bad, but I mean, it kind of recenters itself. And if you take a look at the composite damage, I think there may be an error there because it says 8888 for the headshot and upper torso. So uh, we'll take a look at that as we progress through these attachments. We got the hinge LAF light stock, and that gives us better mobility and handling at, again, the cost of recoil, but it's not going to get worse than you see because that's a composite number. But what I have done is decrease the hip fire max because this thing is an iffy proposition if you're trying to hip fire. I'm telling you, I had the pipper right on people, and uh, somehow I was missing all 10 pellets. Okay. Let's go to the one milliwatt quick fire laser, and that just tells with the ADS speed I had an extra slot there. The Discourager 900 heavy barrel. Um, that helps with the effective damage range, which is something I really wanted to increase out there. And with the recoil, it brings some of that back down. The iron band long barrel slightly hurts the recoil but helps with the mobility reload quickness is impacted but it's slow reloading anyway and finally the x10 full choke there's also the bryson choke out there i thought this one gave me more upsides with effective damage range and uh, less downsides so let's take the reclaimer 18 onto the field of honor with the new camo the interstellar and see how it did for grandpa one game and what it did to the friendly enemies. Kill confirmed in shipment is a perfect test of the Reclaimer 18. Now, I think those numbers are really wrong because at 88 headshot upper torso, you can't get a one shot kill. And maybe those are numbers for the semi auto version. So I got to figure that out. One thing I did notice, especially when doing the camo challenges, that is that the hip shot is a very, very iffy. I keep saying the word iffy, but that's the best word proposition. I mean, it looks like you've got the person dead centered and nothing happens. So I generally tried to use the aim down side as much as possible. That was a consistent kill. It was a consistent kill up to about 15 meters. A lot of you have said you're not going to use this in the comments. And you know what? I really don't blame you. Because it is not what we're used to with a shoddy. With a shoddy, you're used to having a one-shot kill or having multiple bullets coming out quickly in the case of the Riveter or the Hay Market or Maker or whatever the Hay is. I don't use that one that often. But I found that I kind of enjoyed using it in close range. I'm probably not going to keep this as a permanent class because, first of all, I'm kind of on a, a riveter spree now. I'm enjoying the riveter. And if I want a one-shot 
Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get a shot on that that uh, nice young lady there. If uh, I want a one shot shoddy, there there are better options, in my opinion. The Lockwood 680, the Bison from Modern Warfare 2. But if you get an aim downside, aim a little bit high. <laughs> I did there and didn't get anything. Then. Uh, you're going to get the one-shot kills. Not all the time. But you will get them. As you can see there, I keep aiming high, keep getting headshots or upper torso shots. So those are definitely one-shot kills. I don't know what the numbers are trying to tell us, but they're not telling us the truth. Well, she, that, that lady, she is hard to hit. Shows you what a little bit of movement can do for you. So obviously in Kill Confirmed, I'm going to try to get as many tags as possible because Grandpa always likes to win the game. I checked in my... No, oh, I'm getting beaten to death. I checked in my win-loss ratio was about 1.15, which usually hovers about 1... 0.25 and that's because I've been playing a lot of 6v6 for videos because some of you like to see 6v6 rather than free-for-all so that's hovering a little bit lower and I, I think that's more of an indicator than KD of how you're playing if you can get that to a one that's pretty good especially if you play 6v6 because you can't control what your teammates are doing you just gotta hope that they are helping you with the objectives and here the objectives are the tags the red ones and the blue ones because the blue ones keep the enemy from scoring if you can get those deny kills now the configuration slow ooh, configuration slowed down the reload but I really didn't notice it that much I didn't expect a lightning fast reload anyway it's a nice little slide kill. Oh, there's somebody I can take my time. Get the headshot. Notice I don't do much hip shooting, which I almost exclusively do on all the other shotties. I rarely aim down sight with them. Maybe 30% of the time. Hip shot 70% of the time. There's the movement lady. She's got the moves on the dance floor there, but that didn't help that time. You know, the thing about Interstellar is nobody ever says, wow, you've got Interstellar. Of course, you should go for it with if you've never gotten it with this title because it is the most accessible Interstellar in the last 15 years. No bloodthirsties required. On one title, I had to get 20 bloodthirsties with each weapon, which was quite a challenge. So this one's winding down. I enjoyed it. I have to admit, I enjoyed the Reclaimer. It's not going to be a primary weapon. I think you should all try it. Because you will have fun, especially if you can get a shipment. This one went okay. Back to the normal grind. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Give me some information on what you think about the Reclaimer. I'm very interested to hear. Peace.